Today we're going to be working on cutting and fitting angle iron. Uh, one of the most common ways to cut and fit angle iron is the simple 45. When you do this, you leave one edge at 90, you mark the other edge at 45, do that on both pieces. And then when you cut your parts, put them together and square them, you'll have a nice 90 degree angle. Now if you cut these on a saw or you use a torch and you hold your torch at an angle to get this 45 degree angle on both sides, then you will end up with a sharp edge here, which is good for thinner metals or when you're building something that needs a really good sharp edge. However, sometimes you need an open corner joint here so that you can have a little more strength from being able to put more weld on that. Simple way to do that, when you cut your parts, instead of cutting this piece at an angle, you square cut this piece. And when you do that and bring two together, you'll notice this nice corner joint gives you a more place to put your weld and therefore a stronger joint design. Uh, both methods are very well used. It just depends on the intent of the design. The other way that we're gonna look at for fitting angle iron together is coping, which is removing material from your coped piece so that the joining piece will slide into it. So in this case, we want to be able to slide this piece of angle iron up against this leg. Otherwise, we have a big hole. Concept behind this is very simple. You're going to measure the length of your leg and then transfer that measurement onto your coat piece. All the way across. And then this line you will simply cut even with the inside leg. So, got a little notch that will be cut out. Once that is done, looks like this. You're able to slide your two pieces together. Now, once again, the edge design has a couple different options. So when we measure the full length of the leg, we end up with a closed corner joint. Uh, nice sharp edge, but not as much strength. You got plenty to weld to on the inside. But for those occasions when you need to be able to put some weld on the outside, you want that open corner joint. The way you would get that is instead of measuring across the full leg, and removing that material over here, you would just measure the inside of the leg and then move that, remove that amount of material. And that'll leave you with the corner joint. These are a few of the common ways of joining angle iron together. Hope that this video has been helpful to you and that you'll be able to use this in your future career.